In this video, we're going to tell you all about how to set up a portable multi-camera live streaming system. All this and more coming up next. All right, so we just got back from live streaming a music festival, which we've improved upon after four years of live streaming this, this event. And let's take you through some of the considerations that you should be thinking about when you're setting up a live streaming system on site. So here we are setting up tables, power supplies, monitors, all the things that you would need to have a nice video production system. Can't forget about some of the essentials you'll also see there that sometimes go unthought about the tent, the tables, everything that you're gonna to need to keep your equipment safe, especially in an outdoor environment. One of the major improvements we've made this year is that we decided to use speaker stands with a truss system instead of normal camera tripods. And that allows us to get the cameras up almost 10 feet, so above the way of people possibly walking by and getting in the way. So that was a, a huge plus this year. Also convenient because it's a dedicated space that we know our cameras are gonna be safe above all the action. Now though our cameras, the PTZ cameras that we used, allow a single camera operator to operate multiple cameras from just a single joystick or the software that they're using and we have the PTZ Optics producer kit in this video running with vMix which is a multi-camera video production system and the cameras are on this truss here so they're, they're uh, clamp mounted it's called and there'll be more videos on how to clamp mount cameras to a truss system coming up later so don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot of stuff coming soon but let's talk about audio so here is an audio mixing board this was actually handled by another gentleman who was helping out with the live stream so a lot of times you're working with an audio guy and you're taking the output from their mixing board and potentially plugging it into what's called a USB interface. Yeah, sometimes it's as simple as one XLR cable into a mixer, which can then simply be brought into your PC via USB, as Paul's showing here. And then you can just bring that into your streaming software and then steal that audio that you're going to need for your event. Not too bad. It's that is the easiest way, and when you're live streaming event, you've got a lot of other stuff to deal with, so that's what we usually do. But if you want to be really ambitious, you can bring your own mixer, you can do the whole mix for the band, and you can potentially create a separate mix for the front of house, meaning the speakers for everyone there, and your live stream. So keep that in mind. Again, more videos coming out, more detail about that setup as well. Next, let's talk about the cameras. So that's our behind the scenes camera. That was, a, I really enjoy that camera. And we had full PTZ camera control of that camera, even though it was about 100 feet away. Yeah, and luckily, I mean, you saw multiple people helping Paul set it up, but this was a one man production. He was controlling all of those cameras by himself during that time. That's kind of the benefit of this whole scenario. Yeah, can here. we pause right there, Mike? Just, just pause it right there and I want to just show something really quickly. So this right here is called a playlist and what that does and a lot of different video production softwares have this. It takes all your camera inputs which could be different cameras. We have three cameras at this system but also different cameras at different PTZ camera presets and what that means is that one preset might be on the drummer, one might be on uh, the bassist, one might be a close-up on the singer and you can actually have them run it down a playlist in a loop so kind of like that and that's a lot of drawing there <laughs> in a loop and um, you could just walk away and have the, the whole system uh, manually go through that plus you can automatically advance it as well so that's the way the one of the beauties of live streaming with network based pan tilt zoom cameras you get a lot of flexibility and a single person has a lot of control to get those close-up shots and control it all while they're live streaming, mixing, and doing all the other things that we do at a portable multi-camera live streaming event. So next we have the lighting. And 
I just wanted to show this off really quickly. We used a fog machine. We used a Intimidator Spot Duo, uh, which is a uh, pan tilt head that actually puts a spotlight on the stage. Just something to think about. Lighting is very important, especially if you are going to be live streaming at night. Mm. You can see there that spotlight lighting up the band and you know even the best cameras in the world if there's no light at all if we're in complete darkness we're going to have a difficulty getting a good picture so think about going out at night even in with the best low light settings uh, adding some atmospheric lights some lights to hit the stage and, and light your subjects goes a long way that really made the difference for us this year we'll have a lot more tutorials on the lighting and pairing ptz cameras with lighting like that coming up soon. Now, finally, I want to talk a little bit about networking. We are working on a 20-minute webinar all about networking that's going to come soon, but pause it right there, Mike. And one of the things that you need to think about is your computer has an IP address. Now, you can run everything over serial cabling, and the PTZ Optics Producer Kit actually does not require any networking knowledge. You plug that computer into the, your network, and you can stream to Facebook or YouTube. But if you want to take it the next level and have iOS camera control app with your iPhone or your Android, or if you want vMix to be able to control your cameras, you need to even know... Even power over Ethernet. E even power over an Ethernet. We Saving some wires. That. Yeah. You can plug the cameras into a power over Ethernet switch and not have to plug the cameras into power. I mean, there's a lot of benefits. So what you're seeing here is that each camera has a unique IP address, and that is how we can control each one with that cool automated playlist and just make your life a lot easier. It's one of the biggest, best innovations in the industry. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I wanna show you the PTZ Optics Producer Kit briefly so you can kind of get a feel for how much this equipment costs to set something like this up. So the PTZ Optics Producer Kits are multi-camera live streaming systems. You can see a little bit here they are include all the cabling you need, 100 foot of cabling to the camera, a joystick controller, and you can learn how to set it up actually from Tess right here. Tess has a great step-by-step -step guide. There is a PTZ producer kit, and then there's a plus kit that goes up to four cameras as well. So take a look at that on our website. That's really and helpful because you, it's kind of, especially if you're a beginner at this, hard to figure out exactly what equipment is needed to make this done. Our producer kits even come with a streaming PC. You don't have to worry about knowing all the knowledge about what types of computers you might need. Comes with that right there for you. It's definitely a great suggestion. Don't forget to join our user group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics Pals. You'll see what people all around the world are doing for their mobile live streaming setups. I hope this was helpful. Go out there and live stream a system anywhere in the world and feel confident that even one person, which was me, did a three camera shoot, all day shoot, all by myself. The technology today makes it so much easier than it's ever been before. So don't forget to like this video, share it with someone uh, that you know, and then again, facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics Pals. Join the fam. Bye, everybody. Bye, thanks.